Hey guys, thanks to the individual who reminded me to do a guide on YPRI. And if you're not familiar, YPRI is a set of scripts I wrote unique in their concepts for your wireless privacy, mitigating some of the Wi Fi tracking. You may have noticed me sharing an article where a Israeli company called Genovis is doing citywide Wi-Fi and Bluetooth based tracking. I had a recent comment asking how to install it on Pop! OS, so we're going to go over that as well. I'm going to show you how easy it really is. I've created an install script for you. You'll be able to select whatever flags it is that you would like it to run at every boot and it also starts so early in the process that the permanent MAC address doesn't have a chance to even activate Wi-Fi. Focuses on disinformation. What we see here is an individual walking with a Linux device. Imagine this is a computer, a laptop, a tablet, and it just happens to be a Pine phone in this example. So Wi-Fi has set as it is on a flag. You use D to set your device. It can be whatever device your system comes up with. An Apple device is what it's mimicking. It looks like the RSSI is 51. Since the signal strength, MAC address, and the host name is on a continuously changing random addresses and values simultaneously and coordinated changes at continuously changing times. We see the actual, what this represents is the range of the transmission from the Linux device. And what this pink circle represents is the MAC address and the device metadata, the tracking range. So it actually is able to receive the packets from the Wi-Fi devices. You can see they meet here, which means that it has picked up at least it has picked up the RSSI and the MAC address and the brand name for that. So it sees it as a Apple device, but as you notice here, the next change happens at a one of the continuously changing randomized times where all of the values change. And it also lowers the range, but it's still usable as a Wi-Fi device. So if you're in your home with the A flag or something, you're connected to Wi-Fi, you're not going to get disconnected. Always use the D flag with the device name, but if you use the install script, you can have all this automated. You'll never have to mess with Wi-Fi again. It'll be in the background constantly, starting at every boot, running 24 hours a day, and starting early enough in the system processes that your permanent MAC address will never leak. If you need help, Wi-Fi minus H, show you a bunch of different examples of commands. So I'm going to show you the A flag. In the next 427 seconds, what would happen is it would continuously uh, change all simultaneously at continuously changing times and values. As root, we will run install .sh, showing how easy it is for you to install it and have it running at every boot. And if you guys need any help at all, don't hesitate to reach out in the comments. And then I'm going to go ahead and put D flag with my device name. Then I'm going to use the P flag, lowercase, and it's going to install it at boot. And it's as easy as that. But what I can do now is system control status YPRI. And what it does is it shows that it has changed the MAC address right now to this address. And if something were to interfere with this, what it will do is it'll set it to this address anytime it detects it's been changed. So it's there to protect your address. You can use it on top of the network manager random set in your network settings. And that's something I also sometimes do. Sometimes I'll set network manager to random, but I won't set it to retain on there. Instead, I'll just use YPRI in order to retain a valid OUI yet completely random address for a little bit of a disinformation on wireless privacy. And that's YPRI. It's as easy as that to get started with. And when you start every boot, you can actually re change that MAC address. If you're on a static setting for your boot, 
you simply do systemctl restart ypry and watch what happens it's actually going to change the mac address to a new static setting so anytime you need to change it anytime simply do system control restart ypry and it'll change it let's check it out status ypry and it'll be different from this 4c8d number as you notice it's changed it and it's retaining it it's protecting the chosen mac address from change so if your driver firmware crashes you're not going to have any problems with mac address leakage because it is enforcing it in the background with system d let you know that if you need any help at all you can always leave a comment you can send an email whatever and of course i'm always there go ahead and follow me over on peertube a decentralized platform always suggest you branch out from the main stream platforms because you really shouldn't be reliant on any one platform to the extreme and that's what i got today guys make sure to like share and subscribe leave any questions and comments below and i'll be back later with more on how to protect your privacy